All right, everyone. In this fictional story, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, they ask the supercomputer, what is the answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything? And eventually, the supercomputer gives the answer of 42. Now, this is interesting because the ancient... Egyptians claimed there were 42 judges flanking Osiris in the afterlife. And they had 42 commandments to live by. And for a time, they divided their country into 42 districts. The Kabbalah speaks of the 42-lettered name of God. At one point, the Jews were said to have been encamped at 42 stations. In the book of Revelation, the beast is given 42 months of authority. In the Bible, we see these 42 generations. In the Old Testament, there's the story of the two bears coming out and mauling the 42 children. In Buddhism, there is the Sutra of 42 chapters. A rainbow becomes visible at 42 degrees. And there are many other instances of the specialness of 42 to be found. Apparently it takes 42 minutes to free fall through the earth using only gravity. If such a tube could be made These mathematicians recently claim to have solved the riddle of 42 and that it is indeed the sum of three cubes. So what is happening with all this ancient use of 42? Well, for me, it's an echo of a more ancient, advanced, lost civilization. The Atlanteans that most certainly understood the specialness of 42. And then we see this high priestess in Hedjuana who they tell us is the world's first named author. And she wrote 42 temple hymns. And what is she writing about? She's writing about the goddess filling the land with venom like a dragon, bringing the flood, destroying the lands, She's writing all about cataclysm. So let's take another look at our squatter man. This dance of Shiva the destroyer. All these avatars of Vishnu goddess with the two, the evolution of the cosmic mountain, the tree of life, that oscillating squatter man.
Have a good night, guys.